Hey everybody, um, just thinking about our, our group and things we've been talking about and I'm just uh, encouraged by the conversation we're having and I just love seeing people grow in grace and understanding what it means to live in, in the freedom of Christ and, and also what it means to live in the empowering grace of Christ. And It's been wonderful. Today I've been thinking about this idea of Galatians 3 that we've been talking about and, and I've been really thinking about some of the, the, the critics to, to this idea of grace and, and the freedom that we have. That some people have said that the more you go after grace as, as this, uh, this absolute freedom and we, we depart from the law uh, because we're no longer under the law, as it says in Romans, that we'd actually begin to see licentiousness and we'd begin to see uh, people sinning and, and, and just living lives of sin and thinking that's how it, what it means to follow Christ. I, I look and, and I see what Paul's writing about in Galatians 3 and, and it's a wonderful reminder to us that he's not speaking about this life where just anything goes and we can do anything we want and, and all these things. The reality is that we now live by a law of love and this grace now empowers us to live. And what he's trying to speak about isn't so much that we're just separated from the law, therefore we can live any way we want. But he's saying that, that uh, in law itself, that all it does is it brings condemnation, it brings judgment, and it can't bring righteousness or freedom, or, or it can't break the chains. The reality we, we see in Galatians 3 is this beautiful idea that he's reminding us as he says... Did you start in the spirit, but end in the flesh? He's saying, did you gain a freedom to realize that Jesus covers all sins and that he empowers you to live a life beyond sin? Or are you now just living a life where it's about what you can accomplish on your own? Too often we get into places where we, we run into something and we see the sin in our lives and we just say, you know what, I'm just going to stop doing that, or I'm not going to do that any longer. And we forget that if we rely on the law that tells us these are bad, we're just like the Israelites. People that were given a law, that were not empowered to live the law, so they had to have a sacrificial system to cover those sins. But now we have a, a beautiful thing in grace that now we can come to Christ and we can say, I know in me I don't have the power on my own to do this but I know through Christ we can. I know through Christ I can get through this because you are my power, you are my supply, you are my portion, you are what gives me strength. So God, you expel this thing in my life and show me how to walk it out by your power, not by mine. The funny thing about grace is, is in the end, it doesn't tell us that we can sin more. It actually says, this is the thing in your life and now you've been empowered through Christ, by the Holy Spirit, to see it removed. So I just want to give you something to think about this week as you go about your, your days and, and this beautiful recognition when somebody says, well, if you live completely by a freedom of grace, that there's no, more, there's no more law. Well, of course there's no more law. But you know what? There is grace. And grace empowers what the law can never empower. And that is to live a life of righteousness, holiness, and, and, and peace in Christ. Hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you on Sunday.